When I arrive at our destination, I'll set up the spells, just to show you how the spell creation system works. It is so ridiculously amazing. Right, there we go. Right, so, let's have a look. Drop the half gate, necessity the situations around the captured beast man, left claw. And Scarlet Core is standing in your way, find a hard green and half gate, kill them. Alright. But before that, to uh, demonstrate the way that skills work, let's build a powerful aura spell. Um, there we are. So this will last for 14 seconds, it will plus every 3 seconds. Allied AoE, plus 10%, maximum health. Removes a random hostile effect. Radius is 8 meters. Could increase... Well, then we'd not be able to afford that. Um, is there anything we could do? Uh, we could drop its, the, the cost of it a little bit. Range is 8 meters. And the radius is 8 meters. Um, it increases the health. Uh, it plus 10% maximum health, but doesn't restore health. Whereas this one actually restores health. It, it increases health itself. We could increase it to uh, 45 seconds there, or just increase its effect. It's a little bit too much. We could increase its effect to 5% uh, health instead of 4. Uh, we could increase the AoE, uh, it costs a little bit too much. We could knock off 30 seconds worth of uh, of time to activate this, which would be quite nice, I'll be honest. I think this is actually a better one than that. We'll just drop that in there. There you go. Now, there's all sorts of things you can do with these. Um, like, crazy amounts of stuff, actually. Uh, let's go for fire. I want to be able to make fire weapons. Sigil of Volcanic Weapon. Gives us 75. So, allied target. Gets plus 20% fire damage on hit for 45 seconds. Takes me a minute and 20 seconds to be able to cast it again. But whilst this is active, uh, damage... It... it I just do 20% uh, fire damage, but if I crit, then I basically scorch a, a line of fire on the ground as well, which is quite quite awesome. Uh, I could give this to people for about a minute. Or I could drop the cost to about a minute. At this point, I could pretty much sustain this. Indefinitely. But it gets harder the more people are moving around. Instead, I could add that, which gives me a radius, which uh, allows me to place it down a bit better. Um, I mean, that's quite nice, but it's very expensive. Uh, still, this is largely an upgrade over, over the one I've currently got, so let's drop that in there. Thunk. Now you've got a better frost and electric. So what I could do for Ebb is give Ebb the electric weapons. I could have the volcanic thing on it, but there's no point really there. Let's instead make this last for ages and be something that we can apply easier to a group of people. I think that would actually be quite nice. Yeah, and um, we'll assign that over. Domination, Charge Fist. Yeah, we'll assign it over Charge Fist. There we go. In fact, it may even be worth me... Well, we can have a look at a couple of other options. How about fire on the ground? Arid lands. Uh, fatigued Affliction, so it drops their recovery 
quite aggressively. It doesn't really do a whole lot beyond that. It doesn't really do any damage, which is what I would really love to see. And I can't do it with electric. Can do it with frost, but it's just going to make them more likely to fall over. Um... Yeah, I think I think we'll we'll go with these spells for now. That seems reasonable. Cut the banter and stay low. Right then, let's get in and see what's going on. I'm doing really well, Kuro. How about yourself? Ooh. Hello. Uh, health and injured. Those are Crimson Chorus. Uh, Scarlet Chorus, rather. Uh, light bronze boots. They're heavy armor. Not something for this group. I think if I interact with the Scarlet Chorus here, it's going to cause issues for me. But, you know what, I'm probably going to have to cause issues regardless. Watch your step, Fatebinder. The Stone Sea is a rather steep drop from Half Gate Edge. Wouldn't want you to slip off now. What can a poor trader do for you? Um, This place sure has been wrecked. And by a Fatebinder like you, no less. No offense to you, of course. Your good justice. But if I ever get my sights on who did this, I'll give him a ripe piece of my mind. The city lost everything to the edict. Her homes, her people, even her name. You can't imagine what it was like to watch her quake and burn. Now that the city's death slide has settled, we only have to deal with the occasional rumbling. The tremors that come and go like sweeping summer storms. Most blame the disfavored. The earth shakers are up to uh, are no help at all. Scarlet Chorus, at least, want to solve the problem. Okay. Half uh, Gates Townsfolk sympathize with the Scarlet Chorus? Well, we don't like them, but we don't hate them either. They've got a plan to stop the Earth from trembling, so they say. Kill Cairn. Kill the Quakes. Once the land's at rest, we can rebuild and farm again. So they feel the disaster to cause problems. Have you come to help, then? Those meddling Earthshakers are protecting Cairn. But for the life of me, I couldn't tell you why. Maybe they like the trembling he causes every time he rattles and moans. But how are we to rebuild so long as the Archon lives? Have anything noteworthy to stop? Afraid not. I'm plumb out of, well, everything. A bit of gabbing's all I've got to trade at the moment, if you're in the market. Ah, that's good. I'm fine. Right. We're not going to be stealthy here. Well, lo and pissing behold, look who's here. The great fate binder of Tunon. Come and greet his excellency. Will you have us bow and worship like dogs at your feet? She runs her fingers over a racket blade. Or do we saddle this with a bit of fun? Um, They've only just arrived and already you test my patience. Uh, I'm going to say that. Well, shit. I think I've gone and upset the mewling canker wit. No, don't hurt me, fate binder. I'm trembling. Can you believe this one? Strutting about like if this town is already ours, uh, isn't already ours. There's only the question of what to do about you. A slice down your face, mayhaps? Or a dagger betwixt your shoulders as you walk away? I'm partial to either. Um. Today's a fine day to wash the streets with chorus blood. Or you would attack the Fatebinder who reduced the Vellum Citadel to ash. How very brave. Um, well the thing with, if if I pick a, a, a conversation option that has a skill, that skill improves. But the Conquest ones are quite fun as well because they're based on our backstory. And Reefa, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime there. Four months in a row. Good evening, good sir. I hope Siri is doing well after her food tried to eat her back. <laughs> She's doing well, yeah. Yeah. Towards the end of the stream, I'll probably get her out to uh, pop her on camera for a little bit as well. But, hmm. I don't really care too much about sub subterfuge. I've not really built this character around the idea of being duplicious. Athletics would be amusing. Um, conquest, I could just frighten them out of it. 
I like the con I like the conquest option simply because it's ah you know what this this ties into what um, Mythlos I, I believe that was her name um, mentioned build a legend for yourself build power seek out power seek the legend instill fear I think this is a more powerful thing to say than this it builds my legend more than just simply being strong. The soldier pales and grips the, the, for the hilt of her blade, but hesitates to draw it. The joke's a joke, eh? We were just having a bit of a row. No need to be so eager to die. R right? No need to get all worked up over it. After a moment of uncertainty, she breaks into a full-on retreat while shouting into the air. Quickly, Misery! The Fade Binder is coming through! Tails between their legs. Now that is a refreshing right. sound. Yeah, I, I feel that that was the step that builds my legend more likely. These dangling ropes served as a last desperate attempt to keep homes together following the collapse. The aftershocks proved to be too much for the makeshift supports. You have no hope. Really? Kill the fate binder. They're all gonna die. Every single one of you. And you brought it on yourself, really. Uh, I'm gonna switch to uh, Blade. I'm also gonna take this opportunity, initially, to control everyone for a moment. Cousin Shadow. Everyone get together, please. Go. Right, you. Yeah, let's, let's actually get all shocky. While you're doing that, I wouldn't mind it at least a little bit if we... Hmm. Let's go ahead and attack. There. That's a Sirin. Red runs our blood to the T as we march. Rage's accuracy. Deals arcane damage to nearby enemies, raises resolve, fatigues nearby enemies, raises movement speed, removes hostile effects. Um, hmm. Deals fire damage, raises movement speed of nearby allies. Lows resolve, lows parry and dodge, weakens nearby enemies. Might, wits and vitality all rising is quite nice. Lows movement, deals frost damage, spell breaches, deals frost damage, freezes nearby enemies. Actually, let's go with Breath of Winter. Let's start singing that for now. Uh, Shattered Stone. The Fade Binder rips a large chunk of stone from the earth and tosses it into the air. Sirin then unleashes a shattering note onto the boulder, causing it to explode and sending raining stones down from the sky, damaging enemies in the air. That is actually pretty potent. Wow. Um, I'd like you to bolster their effects. And as for me, Good old me. I could use a fireball. Tidal burst, push you back. Guidance would be a nice one. Yeah, let's pop it down. I believe I can actually slow down combat. I don't recall how, though. Is it perhaps minus? I don't recall. Unfortunately, but there is a way. Annoyingly, assuming control. Yes, pretty much. Well, I'll pretty much what I just did. Yeah. Uh, right, electric jolt. I can probably move into position to take care of that. As for Sirin, you're now released. Do do as you please. I'm gonna have myself get involved. Uh, you can't get over there, okay. Fair enough. Um, I'm just drop increasingly large amounts of uh, spells into them. Good. A little bit slow on the on the draw there, but it's fine. All right, can you use trample? Go ahead. As for me, I'm going to use fireball. I would like Ebb to use well, electric jolt. It's going to take a little while. 
Um, arcane missile them. Attack again! Someone strike better next time. Really? Did you say it? There we go. That's what I wanted to see. Do some proper damage. Oh really? Okay. Fair enough. Thank you for the advice. Uh, what spells do I have? Uh, electric Jolt. At this point, Fulmination should be up. Siren's just doing her own thing. There we go. Right. Get together, group. And also, stealth. Right. Let's continue to wander around. Oh, right. Our Beastman friend is over there. Honestly, I really miss having my spells for illusion. Like, I really miss them. They were super good. What we got there? Spectral Blur, False Pit. There we go. And Unravel Mines. I kind of feel like I want False Pit again. Let me try and rebuild a False Pit. So, are we going to want ranged? So, False Pit. Prone Affliction for 4.2 seconds. I want it to last longer. 5.9 seconds. I want to be able to cast it a lot sooner. Every 28 seconds I, ca I can cast this. It'll uh, it'll drop them prone for 5.9 seconds. And make them bleed. Yeah, for 14 seconds. Good. Uh, causes raw damage over time. I could interrupt them. Well, no, I couldn't really add that right now. What's the range? It's only one meter. It's not great, but it'll do, I guess. Uh, 7 to 11. It's not amazing, honestly. This is not a, a spell that I'm putting together for doing raw damage. I'm wanting this more to take someone out of a fight and just keep them on the ground. Um, I got it. A home lays flattened by the quake that shattered Halfgate. The majority of the structures here stood no chance against the uh, strength of the tremors. Do I want to explore this area more? Or find out what's going on over here? Doesn't look like they're harming the uh, beast man. If I can be smart about this rather than just having to charge in brute force it, I'd prefer. Especially if I can eliminate a lot more of them on the outside. Ooh. Oh, it's just a bonus for the deck, never mind. I thought it was much, much more awesome than that. Hey, I'm Audrey Viking, how are you doing, buddy? Hello, raiders. Uh, it's so fitting. It's so fitting. Raiding. When. <laughs> When you are Mordred Viking on Twitch. It's so much more fitting than almost any other streamer that could raid. I... I... My hat's off to you. Well done. You have won the streaming lottery. You really have. <laughs> Hello, raiders. How are you all doing? What was Mordred playing? Well, uh, could we get a shout-out, please, mate? There we go. Uh, Hearts of Iron Four. Well played. Hopefully it went well. As for me, I'm currently uh, killing the Scarlet Chorus more often than not. Is there anything else back there? I don't think so. Uh, we are hopefully going to rescue a beast man. Oh, I was apparently detected while I was looking elsewhere. My bad. It happens though. Uh. Eh, you know what? Sure. Everyone, the whole group, AI on. Just enjoy killing things. I want to see how good you are at doing it without me micromanaging. There we go. Got a lot of healers here. They should be able to take pretty much anything. How? Oh, they've actually used one of their regenerative pulses. Yeah, well I done, boy. I approve. Didn't need to lift a finger. And we've got Horde Boots. And 
they're exquisite, so they'll sell for a fair bit. They're not super amazing, though. Oh, Avak, you stream? You're one of my favourite YouTubers. I discovered you with Stardew Valley. Going f uh, fishing was so peaceful. Ah, good old fishing in Stardew Valley. Uh, fond memories. And maybe fond futures as well, actually. I, I, I bet it's stealth again. Yes, please. Uh, let's have a look up here. But yes, I do stream. Uh, I am aiming to stream, though. This is an aim rather than a reality just yet of streaming around uh, every other day. Or well, basically four days a week. Uh, but, yeah, it's, it's it's whether I can get there or not. There's a lot of stuff that I need to uh, sort out uh, this January before I can uh, really try to put that into action, but we'll see. If you miss streams, though, don't worry. Most of them go up as VODs on my uh, YouTube channel. In fact, Death Stranding is about the only one that I'm actively playing at the moment that isn't going up on my YouTube channel. Uh, let's grab everything in there. There we go. Alright, what have we got back here? We've got a rope. Ooh. Is that going to be something I can scale down? It might be. Miseries over there, okay. I might want to talk to you. Directly, in fact. Uh, these dangling ropes served as the last desperate attempt. Oh no, it's probably the uh, place down there. So this whole area basically got ripped apart. Curious. Right. Let's talk with you. I think I just discovered something interesting, though. Four days a week, my hammer is tingling. Calm yourself, Leafy. Keep it in your pants. But... Misery. Must be my lucky day. Crimson Spear cocks her helm hidden face to her side, studying you warily. Uh, the Crimson Spear cocks her helm hidden face to the side. I get to bathe my Arabella in a fate binder's blood. She stomps into a hip squared crouch and pivots her long spear over her head. As her hand movement to speed, the bronze spear begins to whump and snap in the end. She slaps the spear against the ground, loud as a whip crack, and her arms shudder from the force as the haft ricochets back into the air. She laughs, clamorous and throaty, and pleased, eager to test her prowess against you. Any last words? If you mean the last words you're ever going to hear, how about these? You're going to die now. <laughs> well, come at me then. I don't have to run out of last words to offer, to be honest. I could go for uh, Blood and Mark sends his regards. That would be an interesting one. Lawbreaker, requirement not make interesting. Point excitedly. Hey, what's that over there? Or Law, how about a truce? Hmm. I wonder. I wonder about this one. Oh. I don't want to invoke Blood and Mark's name. I feel that that would kind of piss him off, honestly. Likewise, uh, I don't know about uh, how about a truce. I don't really want one. I kind of want to kill you all. Why leave an enemy encampment behind me, knowing that I'm probably going to cross them again later? Hey, what's over there? Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll, I'll bulk up my subterfuge a bit. A curse dead on her lips. She glances at a jolt toward the horizon. Motherless fu- I'm going to straight up punch her. Pow! A resounding clang splits the sky as your fist strikes her armored mask. Her neck snaps to the side and she curses anew before spitting blood and teeth at your feet. She trembles with fury, her eyes hot as cinders as she looks back to you. I'm going to enjoy killing you. Spear whipping in her hands, she lunges for you without further warning. It was totally worth it. 100% worth that. You know what, though? Uh, I'm super tempted to just let everyone annihilate you. Fairly confident that we'll be able to do it. Um, though, you know what? How about... I'm not sure. What are you currently doing? 
think you just use slash fire, yeah. Okay, well how about how? Fight them in there, will you? Okay. I may need to step in here. Uh, false pit, please. Over on the mage. Dunk. Uh, Blood of the Fallen. I could steal their armor. That would be a nice one. Um, static charge. Oh, they're not close enough to get it down. Mm. Arctic ground. That would affect all of them as well. Let's go for it. That's so Arctic grounds up. Do I have a consumable? Uh, sure. Right. Well then. Click. There we go. Alright, this is what happens when I don't pay enough attention, really. I would like you to use your artifact now. There we go. Just wipe everything out for me. With extreme prejudice, if you please. Um, let's use healing aura on myself. Right. I'm going to need you to do some more damage, if you would be so kind. False pit underneath you again. Let's take you out of this equation. And electric jolt should do a decent chonky bit of damage there. Go. And it's over for you. Nice kill, Kills in Shadow. That was actually quite glorious. Uh, we got a pearl and a sapphire. Not bad. And a loot, but you know, still not bad. It's camping supplies we don't need. Ooh, now greater healing potions are definitely something of interest to me. That is 100% something I would like. Let me quickly uh, sort that out. So. You're my main tank. Yeah, I would like... No, no, cancel. You can have all of those. And my main character can have more of the smaller ones. There we go. Good enough for me. On the lookout. Hoppers. Oh no, can't. Uh, almost as good. Right. Now, the unfortunate thing is that that artifact would have been stupendously useful down here. Alas. Probably not going to happen now. I need everyone to cluster. Cluster together. I need all of you super close. All of you try to get in together. There we go. And I want this weapon on all of us. I got it. Let's go. Right, there we go. Alright, everyone's scattering. Still gonna be rough, but... Um, stampede. Go for that. Surge of Glory seems okay, but not really. Uh, fear, don't like that at all. Can I drown him? Not easily. Alright. Um, no, don't use that. Instead, I wonder if I can stack effects. Can I have a flaming electrified weapon? Because, not gonna lie, that would be amazing. We've done a chunky bit of damage there. Uh, can I get. Ravel mines on them, please? I would desperately I approve of... Oh, I can't get it. Okay. Let's get healing going on... Uh, kills in Shadow. Then, in that case. But I can't. Good. There we are. Right, next up. Uh, I would love a fireball. Right on top of this nest of enemies, right in front of us. 
That would be fantastic, honestly. Okay, yeah, sure, you go run over to him. I'm a-okay with that happening. Oh, you're using trample. I'm going to take off that for now. Do I have any artifact abilities? I mean, I've got the Arcane Unraveling. That's not going to actually do anything against uh, Bane. All right, target weakening and fatiguing all Bane inside the radius. Duration of the effects. I mean, it doesn't say it's only against Bane, does it? Oh, yes. I can't use it on anything but Bane. That would be the issue, then. Uh, another false bet, please. Oh, wow. Nice. We've got more people joining the fray. Could I get... Her weapon improved. And I would love it if we could get a storing touch. Easy as can be. Well. I would very much like you to just go over there and beat them to death with that gigantic hammer. Go. Don't be on fire! My lord. Do I have to do everything myself? Okay. Should be okay. My health is pretty solid right now. And almost all of them are dead. But you aren't in the best of situations right now. Uh, strike forcefully with a weapon, dealing damage and sundering the target's armor. Extend period of time. I could take out their mage probably once and for all. With this. So please do that. There we go. Nice work. Serin, I assume you're using false pit right now, which is fine. I could use Tidal Burst. Do I really want to push them away, though? Not really. That was a bit silly. Think about it, but... In a sense. Could we get a trample over there? Yes! And then go through two people there as well. Go for it. Nice. Very nice. Can I get a restore? Thank you very much, AI. Uh, okay. I'll put my character on AI as well, then. It's fine. Oh, that looked unpleasant. That looked super unpleasant. As you say, the last of the Scarlet Chorus gangsters that terrorized Halfgate, the town's residents once more emerge from their homes. Vendor stalls are reopened for business, children play in the rubble-filled roads, and a crowd gathers in the village square as daily life returns to Azure. Uh, in the ru ruins of Azure continues. It resumes, rather. So this is what Kairos's edict looks like. Remind me not to look down. I uh, will try. Humans. Uh, I'll take that. Own kid and die so easily. Cannot share territory without hunting other packs extinct. Yes, and the glorious beast people are so much more civilized. She's got a point. Never resort to violence to get their way. Oh come on. Uh, right, we've got hold boots, some of the nice boots again, but they're nothing particularly amazing. When's the last time a beast cast an edict? I think we can all agree humanity is far worse. 